Welcome back, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we had dueled Instructor Sarah Valstein as we were on our way to the train station. Wait, no, I'm wrong. Hold on, hold on. I got that wrong. We were on our way to the school academy training field to be greeted by Sarah Valstein, and out came the Courageous, a cruiser class airship that is going to be taking Green Schwarzer and his friends to their to their respective locations for their field studies. Green and his group going to Ruhr, Elisa's hometown. And looks like we have the run of the place. I really need to get better at explaining things. Let's go to the hold. Commentator, I need to commentate, and I need to get good at commentating. What's up, Skiff? There, I'm guessing I just need to talk to everyone. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I had no idea the Reinford Company was involved in developing something on this scale. And I find out it was in collaboration with the Epstein Foundation of the ZCF. And on top of that, She's got her hands in the development of our Arcus units, too. It's way too much work for one person. How many projects does Mother have under her wing right now? Well, I'm afraid I can't give a simple answer. But this, suffice to say, the Chairman only knows about a small number of the projects in development of the Reinford Group. <coughs> what new directions have? I knew it. Oh. Hello, Master Ween. Um... I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? No, it's okay. <laughs> Are you... Have you finished exploring the airship? I expect it'll be a little while longer before we reach Ruhr. Finished? I don't even think I've seen half of it yet. It's overwhelming. I'm looking forward to landing in Ruhr, though. It's been a while since I've seen the industrial metropolis. It's not too far from my hometown, so I'd always hear about it in passing. Oh, that's right. You're from Ymir, so I guess you would have. You want a little refresher? I can bring you up to speed in all things Ruhr. Sure, why not? Ruhr used to be a factory town. Population is about 200,000. Yeah, the city was man-made. Trees and grass are rare sites. Yep. Can I please get on with this now? Yeah, the iron mine there. Okay. Oh my god, this is a lot of exposition. Usually the game is pretty good about exposition. That was just a lot. At the very least, they make exposition interesting, as we saw with all the backstories. can't interact with that door for some reason. Nobody wants to see dudes sing. It's all about the ladies. Besides, if we make the outfit skimpy enough, guys will be breaking down the doors to get in. Ah, crow. Are you three working on what you want to do for the concert? Yeah. We've got the general gist of it figured out, but let me ask you, Reem. Would you prefer male or female vocals? Really important question too, since it'll change the audience we draw. That's a tough decision. Why don't we try both of them? A duet. Yeah, there we go. 
Hello, Yusus. Okay. Oh, you're a shop. Before I buy healing items, I want to check the other one out here. I'm guessing it's another shop. No bunks. Okay. Plenty of healing. Some EP charge as well. And that's all my money. The rear deck. Up here's Tobol and Sarah. Instructor Sarah? Tobol? What are you guys doing out here? Oh, just a little bracer to bracer information swapping. <laughs> That's about the long and short of it. Been a while since I saw you guys, though. Not since last month in Legram. Yeah, always nice to see a friendly face, though. Well, despite keeping in touch with him and setting up these arrangements, it came as a surprise to me to see him on board, too. Clearly, it was meant to be. Honestly, I was only brought on because of my connection with Viscount Arce. This airship really is in a class all its own, though. It's not every day you see a ship owned by the Imperial family and captained by the Radiant Blademaster. No, I suppose it's not. This cruiser has the potential to be an important force in Erebonia going forward. Without ties to the Imperial or Provincial armies, it can potentially keep both of them in check if need be. It might not be able to do that quite as well as a strong guild presence could, but it'll still help protect a lot of people. That's true. Yeah, the Bracer Guild serves kind of like a Minuteman faction. Uh, citizen soldiers, essentially, protect and serve their community. <sighs> it still frustrates me how the Guild used to be an institution here. And now we're just barely keeping the lights on. At least the Crossbell Branch sends its people over to help us out when we need a hand, though. Wenzel's one thing, but we owe McLean so many favors, I've lost count. McLean? Wait, are you talking about... Oh, yeah, I guess you would have heard of him. He's an A-rank bracer over at the Crossbell Branch. A guy we used to work with named Wenzel works there now, too. Wait, maybe we should back it up a bit. Yeah, because I don't know who any of these are. Presumably characters in Trails of the Sky. The guy we're talking about is Arios McLean, a.k.a. the Divine Blade of Wind. The name probably sounds familiar to you because he's also a practitioner of the Eight Leaves One Blade style. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. I've never met him myself, but I heard a lot about him from my master. He mastered the school's second form. It sounds about as untouchable as anyone who holds the title of Divine Blade. Well, he's pretty damn strong, I'll give you that. Bailed me out of more tough spots than I'd like to admit. Speaking of, you know who else is a student of the Eight Leaves School? Cassius Bright. We were talking about him before, remember? He's the bracer who took command during that big incident two years ago. Yep, and that is definitely calling mention to Trails of the Sky. Though from what I heard, he left the way of the sword behind a while back. I don't I've never played Trails of the Sky, and it is it is on Steam though, although I don't really have an effective way to record off my computer. Cassius Bright was here in Erebonia. Wait, two years ago. Eh, it was an eventful time, to put it lightly. And yeah, we have Cassius to thank for getting us past that. But afterward, <laughs> well, you know the story from there. They shuttered guild branches all across the Empire, one after the other, and your dear, sweet instructor was out of a job. I'd be glad to give you all the grisly details, but it's a long story. We should probably save it for another time. But hey, the guild seems to have a good track record with folks from the Eight Leaves School. Maybe you should consider a career as a bracer. Door's always open, you know? Me? A bracer? I wonder if that's... I wonder if he becomes a bracer in the fourth game. There are four Trails of Cold Steel games. The first three are all SCAV US releases. The third one coming in September. 
Fourth one, we don't know when it's coming to the West. Huh. I never really thought about it before. We know it will eventually. We just uh, hope it will eventually. Hey, there's enough of us singing the Bracer Blues without you trying to recruit my students. <laughs> never hurts to start them early. Seriously, though, we're always looking for more good people. If that's something you wanted to do, I wouldn't turn you down. <laughs> I'll give it some thought. Those are boarding gates. So I wouldn't be able to interact with those while I'm in the fucking sky. Oh, and the girls are out here. Oh, and that's the location I'm supposed to head to. The air has got to be really fucking thin up here. Huh. Hello, Prince Olivert. Ah, at long last, the Courageous has finally taken to the skies of Erebonia. <laughs> I feel like a mother hen watching her chicks leave the nest. I'll take your word for it. Um, this may sound a bit forward of me to say, but... It sounds like you had some hurdles getting this project together. <laughs> It was no easy ride, I'll say that. I doubt it would have come together without the Prince's unwavering dedication and tireless work. He had to find the time to raise funds and oversee the entire project, in addition to all his official duties. And to add to that, he had to take care of all the arrangements necessary to get Viscount Arsaid installed as its captain. I can't even imagine how busy your schedule must have been. Even from a well, for this ship to have any weight as a deterrent, I needed the Viscount. I didn't mean to cut Thankfully, that short. you agreed to my request. My plan is to create a neutral third power capable of acting independently of our nation's two competing factions. You know, kind of like what the Bracers were? You can think of the Courageous as the first physical embodiment of that ideal. A third party, huh? I feel like I'm starting to understand at least part of what it is you're trying to accomplish. A libertarian branch? The road will be a difficult one, though. True, but this is only the beginning. Seeing this ship soar through the clouds for the first time moves my heart. Just as when Class 7 was formally established. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for the Courageous. And for the... Your Highness... Ah, I did it again! We live in interesting times. The political situation across the Empire seems to grow more ominous by the day. But... With any luck, making a real show out of this ship's launch will push back against the prevailing climate. Well, this is, this is topical, ain't it? Well, that's the hope, at least. Either way, you'll have your whole life to split hairs about politics. For now, give your attention to your field study. Thank you. I know you have high expectations for us, and I hope we'll be able to meet them. Now I need to go up a floor. Yes. Hot yes. Yeah. Captain Arsene, honestly, you could have told me about this a little sooner. Is this the reason you've always been so, you've been so busy lately? Huh. I apologize for the secrecy, but much on this project fell under the veil of, of strict confidentiality. There are some things I'm forbidden to speak with, even to my own daughter. I'm sure you even realize even you realize that. But class must have known, right? Why was he allowed to know while I was left in the dark? Well, 
We've been honored to have been invited on board. We can rest a bit easier once we arrive in Ruhr knowing we had an Imperial escort. Indeed you can. The Provincial Army will have, a little, will have little choice but to accommodate you. This ship's purpose is to act as a deterrent to both factions, as well as the Imperial Liberation Front. By doing that, we hope to hold the courageous. We hope the ah, ah, ah! By doing that, we hope that the courageous will hold the guard at bay long enough for something new to take root. I'm sure it will. But they, ah, they choose wisely in naming you captain. Cho choose wisely. Chose wisely. Still, I assume that's n this airship's. Ah. Still. I assume that's not this airship's only purpose. Well, true. Building an airship this advanced seems excessive if all you're going to do is use it as a deterrent. Laura's right. There has to be some other purpose that it's been made to fulfill. <laughs> Very perspective of you. I regret that I wasn't able to discuss this with you properly when we were in Legram last month, but I'm proud to see just how much you've grown since you enrolled at the Academy. I have my class to thank for that. Learning alongside them has a constant source of insights. Been a constant source, excuse me. So tell me, Reen, how's she doing? Is Laura getting along with the other students? Huh? I think she's been fitting in fine. I see. That's reassuring to hear. At times, I worry about growing up in a sword-fighting household cause her to end up less rounded than her peers. I hope you and the others will continue to look out for her. Of course. But glad she's with us. I can't imagine Class 7 without her. I can't help but get the feeling that she's more, something more than simply a classmate. Whatever the truth may be, I hope you'll continue teaching her as the lady she is. I'm not the... I'm not the one... I'm not one to abide inappropriate behavior toward my daughter. I, I don't have the faintest idea what you're talking about. But I like to think of myself. I like to think... I know how to conduct myself toward my classmates. Good. I can English. I can. What were you two going on about with all your whispering and glances? It was nothing you need to concern yourself with. Just a little discussion between me. You needn't worry. We'll be sure to get you to your field study safely. As a student of Thor's, I expect you to give it your utmost. Now we're... real quick. Nope. Probably the hold is where I need to go. Attention all crew members and passengers. We will soon be entering Ruhr airspace. Never mind. Please prepare for landing and make sure you have all personal effects with you before disembarking. Sounds like we're almost there. That was a shorter flight than I'd expected. Guess I'd better go round up the others and start getting ready. Ruhr Airport's granted us permission to land. Commence landing preparations. And keep the engine warm. We'll be taking off again right after our guests have disembarked. Aye, aye, Captain. Preparing the Courageous to land. Including today, you've got three days for this month's field study. Make them count. I plan on it. We'll do the best we can. You guys be careful in Ortis. 
Yeah, it sounds like things could be dangerous there. Don't sweat it, we'll be fine. We ought to be alright if a certain someone can keep her mouth shut. Take care and rule her, everyone. Will do. When we get back, we'll be jumping straight to the festival preparations. I'll be planning to discover the true terror of planning by committee. Oh, that's right. But everything that's been happening so far today, I almost forgot. Love the outfits and songs finalized by the time we get back. And we should have positions all figured out. I try to save at least a little bit of strength. It'd be a shame to come back too tired to outdo class one. Oh, I think I could find the energy. That's all the more reason for us for a safe return. <laughs> ah, the spirited joys of youth. I'm sure both your field study and your academy festival will prove valuable experiences for all of you. Hard work out there, guys. I'm not too hard, but not too hard, you hear? May the goddess be with you both. Take care. Yeah, Sharon showing the way. What a strange maid. This tunnel goes on forever. I can't help but recall trying to navigate Gorelia Fortress. I guess when you build up when I guess when you build with tons of iron and concrete, everything starts to look pretty similar. We're not far from the city center now. I wanna brace yourselves. Ruhr has an even weirder layout than the capital. Hey, that's my hometown you're talking about. But I can't deny it's true. Looks like we're finally out. I didn't think the capital was that weird, honestly. It's broken down into segments, so... Very technologically advanced city. Whoa. The city extends above and below. We'll figure it out. Welcome to Ruhr. Right, it is weird. We've got a population of around 200,000. That's as big as the capital of a smaller. That's as big as the capital of a smaller country. I feel like the city's gotten even bigger since the last time I was here. The Rhineford corporate headquarters is on the upper level, right? That's right. I'd like you to visit. Just head to that escalator. to welcome you to Ruhr, home of the Reinford Company. I sincerely hope that your field study here will be a fulfilling one. I like this maid. I like Shannon. She seems like a kind person. They seriously don't know about escalators. They have flying sh airships, but escalator is where you draw the line. That looks like a generator. Yeah, I was right.
Reinford Group Corporate Headquarters. And Crow is being himself. Wait, is Shannon? Shannon's... Is Shannon in the party? No. She's here as a support. It's weird to see her portrait down there. Lady Alisa? A butler? Dalton. It's good to see you again. Oh, it's a manager. Okay. Why well, refer to her as Lady if she's a commoner? I understand the maid doing so. Those are her that's kind of her job. It's weird. Reinford Building, 23rd floor. There's Irina. Madam Chairman, I brought the ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. Bring them in, as you wish. stops here. That's one hell of a view. So it looks like the Courageous's inaugural flyover in Heimdall and Ruhr was a success. But don't release an official statement until tomorrow. Yes, that'll be fine. Yes, I'd like you to begin as soon as possible. And keep a careful eye out for any insider trading. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a bad thing. Hello, Arena Reinford speaking. Mm-hmm. Yes, I understand. Fast track the construction on the special train if you can. No, pay it no mind. I doubt crossbell related shares rising is indicative of a larger market trend. But sell them all early next month. Timing is key here. Wow. She's like a commander issuing orders across multiple fronts. Yeah. It's impressive to see Toa do it. Mrs. Reinford seems to have it down to a science. Yeah, I mean, she's not the chairman of a corporation for nothing. She's a general on the battlefield of business. We all have other matters we need to attend to, so I'll get right to the point. Here. What? Thank you. All business, eh? 
No time for small talk. I've cleared my schedule to dine with you this evening, so anything you wish to discuss can wait until then. Okay. I'll leave the rest to you, Sharon. It makes me wonder if Sharon's gonna be a party member. As you wish, Madam Chairman. When do you expect to return this evening? Or if she's strictly support. I'm genuinely curious. I mean, you have Felicia in Fire Emblem Fates. I don't remember the other maid's name. I know she, in Revelations anyway, she's a usable, care, usable party member, I think, in Conquest, she's a playable party member. The point is, she's a battle maid, and her compatriot, Jacob, is a battle butler. I'm planning on seven. Have our guests enjoy a night cruise, if you will. That sounds splendid. I'll make the necessary arrangements. I've been on a day cruise before. It's all, it's all right. I don't remember much of it. I remember just touring the bay. That was in South Texas. When I was younger. That's it? That's all you have to say? Elisa, uh, wait till dinner. I don't care if you ignore me. That's nothing new. But my classmates are here and you're on our board of directors. Would it kill you to show at least a little interest? Elisa. Whoa, well, Lisa, it's okay. You don't need to get worked up for our sake. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Huh? If you want to return in one piece, I'd suggest you steer clear of the provincial army and the railway military police. Yeah, I understand the provincial army. They're, they're not good people. They're pretty fucking corrupt. The same goes for the Marquis's mansion, though I can't imagine what business would take you there. Yeah, the Mar the Mar a Marquess is it's it's hard to explain what a Marquess is. They're basically a leader of a city state, like kind of like what Ruer is. Use common sense, and don't try to overstep your bounds. That'll be all. That's actually good advice. Have a safe trip, Madam Chairman. Wow, your mom's a real piece of work, Elisa. The army only wishes it was that efficient. She certainly has the metal to head up an international company like this. To I save didn't the realize least. Machias was in my group. Not that I'm complaining, but I didn't realize he was with us. Oh, see? You see why I didn't want to come back now? You can't tell me that gave you a great impression of her. I think you're being a little hard on her. She was looking out for our safety, giving us that advice. Ugh, just forget it. Getting all worked up and storming off in a huff is what she wants me to do, and I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. Uh, okay. Okay, I know me giving you bunny ears isn't helping this, but why must you be so infantile? We'll be back before sundown, Sharon. I'd like you to have the guest rooms and dinner preparations sorted by then. Oh, and see to our luggage, would you? <laughs> As you wish. That's a hell of a maid. She's also adorable. Wanna poke her cheeks. Have a safe trip, everyone. I still want Toa and Kitty Ears if any fan artists can get on that. Anyone at all? I'm willing to pay for it. Contact me, I'll pay for it. I'm not even kidding. I would love to see that. Yeah, not, any, not like a cheap Photoshop bullshit. No, like actually drawn artwork. I saw one for Fee the other day on Twitter on the Trails hashtag. It was adorable, and that's why Fee is wearing kitty ears, because it's adorable. And what are our tasks? Mining a minor metal. It's a lot of M's. Okay. Can you hear me now? 
and the by road monster okay one required two non required I'll be doing all of them at least trying I've been going for almost 40 minutes now, 36 minutes. So I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I go do some busy work in the industrial metropolis of Ruhr. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off. No, seriously, I want to see a fan art of Toa and Kitty Ears because I think it'd be adorable.